This is part 2 lecture of environment and ecology series. In this video, we are going to learn about what is environmental pollution and what are the different types of environmental pollution that exist around us. Let's begin with the definition first. With rapid increase in population and economic development, there will be some side effects on the environmental resources. It is this side effect we refer to as environmental pollution. In other words, environmental pollution is something that brings harm to our environment. And in turn, it affects the people because we live in the environment. Now, how does environmental pollution occur? In the most basic sense, let's assume there is a plant and a human being. The law of the nature says both has to grow with time. So the plant grows into a tree and starts developing fruits. And the human being grows into an adult. Now, humans need food. So he or she goes and plucks a fruit from the tree. They eat and throw the uneaten part of the fruit. That uneaten part becomes a waste and mixes with the environment in such a way that it gives rise to different forms of pollutant. Likewise, there are many ways in which waste products may be generated during the extraction of raw materials, the processing of raw materials into final products and also during consumption. Now we'll see what are the different types of pollution. Environmental pollution occurs in different forms like air, water, soil, radioactive, noise, heat, thermal and e-waste. Let's quickly get to know each one of them. The first one is air pollution. It is the most common and dangerous form of pollution. As the society moves towards urbanization, air pollution increases. Therefore, urbanization and air pollution goes hand in hand. Excessive fuel combustion from cooking, transportation and other industrial activities is the primary reason behind air pollution. Sulfur dioxide is the most common gas that is making the air toxic. It is produced from the burning of fossil fuels like coal and oil and the smelting of mineral ores like aluminium, copper, zinc, lead and iron. The release of sulfur dioxide and other greenhouse gases into air causes global warming and has capacity to cause acid rain. I have a separate video on how greenhouse gases can cause global warming. If you want to have a look at it, I'll put the link in the description. The second one is water pollution. Every living being on earth depends on water for its survival. Thus, water pollution is another major type of pollution. Industrial effluent dumped into the rivers and sea is the most common way in which water is getting polluted. After that, the massive use of insecticides and pesticides by agricultural community is polluting the ground as well as the water system. Then oil spills in the oceans by the heavy tankers have caused significant damage to the water bodies. Then washing clothes, utensils create wastewater. With no proper sewage treatment, these wastewater are released directly into ponds and lakes, which causes heavy water pollution. The whole point behind all of this is, when large-scale pollutants are released into the water, it blocks sunlight from penetrating, thus reducing oxygen from the marine life and it also changes their composition due to the introduction of new forms of bacteria, viruses and other microorganisms that can cause waterborne diseases like cholera and diarrhea. The third one is soil pollution. This can also be called as land pollution. The most common form of land pollutant you can think of is the use of insecticides and pesticides. Overuse of these chemicals can lead to exhaustion of the nitrogen compounds from the soil, making it unfit for plants to grow. Other forms of land pollution occur due to dumping of industrial waste, mining and deforestation. Industrial waste can be categorized into three types. Chemical waste, solid waste and toxic and hazardous waste. Chemical waste includes harmful and dangerous chemicals which are typically generated by factories. Usually there are rules and regulations made by the government and environmental agencies who ensures that chemical waste must be segregated on site before disposing. Now what are solid waste? In industrial services, solid waste includes a variety of different materials including paper, cardboard, plastics, packaging materials, wood and scrap metal. Some of these materials can be reused and recycled by a recycling center. Recycling is important because it effectively reduces your waste disposal cost. Then toxic and hazardous waste. 
It comprises of materials that can cause serious health and safety problems if waste disposal is not handled correctly. This type of waste typically includes dangerous byproduct materials generated by factories, farms, construction sites, laboratories, garages, hospitals and certain production and manufacturing plants. This waste disposal is only legal at special designated facilities around the country. Now mining activities like excavation, overburden dumping has some serious environmental impact which include erosion, formation of sinkholes, loss of biodiversity, relocation of the tribal people, contamination of soil, depletion of groundwater and surface water. Deforestation means cutting of trees and clearing the forest area. When there are no trees, the soil becomes loose. I mean it is the tree that holds the soil together. Excessive rainfall can trigger landslides and mudslides, which then leads to massive soil erosion. The fourth one is noise pollution. Unwanted or excessive sound that can have serious effects on human as well as environmental health leads to noise pollution. According to the World Health Organization, sound levels less than 70 decibel are not damaging to living organisms. Anything more than that may lead to psychological problems like stress, permanent hearing impairment and hypertension. Noise pollution comes from factories, that is operation of machines and motors. Then it also comes from construction sites like operation of cranes and welding. So these all fall under industrial noise. Now there are non-industrial noises as well, such as transportation, example road traffic, honking and vehicle engine noise. Then we have rail traffic where the noise comes from the train wheels and engine, then noise coming from aircraft taking off and landing. In residential areas, noise pollution is caused due to cooling and heating systems, then household equipment, then community concert, festival, etc. All of this comes under non-industrial noise. The fifth one is radioactive pollution. This is considered one of the most dangerous pollution because of its permanent effects. Now radioactive pollution occurs due to emission of proton which are alpha particles, then electrons which are beta particles and gamma rays which are short wave electromagnetic waves when they disintegrate from atomic nuclei of some elements. Now radiation is an after effect of radioactive waste. Radiation can be categorized into two groups, non-ionizing radiation and ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation has enough energy so that during an interaction with an atom, it can remove or break tightly bound electrons from the orbit of an atom, causing the atom to become charged or ionized. Some examples of ionizing radiation are radioactive particles, then medical x-rays, then metal welding. If human body is exposed to ionizing radiation, it can break bonds in proteins and other important molecules in our body and that can cause mutation, cancer or tumor, which can lead to death. Now, non-ionizing radiation refers to any type of electromagnetic radiation that does not carry enough energy to break the atoms and molecules. Some examples of non-ionizing radiation are radio waves, microwaves or any extremely low frequency wave. Non-ionizing radiation does not penetrate deep into the tissues, but it can damage the upper skin layer and eyes. So the point is, ionizing radiation have a lot of energy to penetrate and break bonds. On the other hand, non-ionizing radiations do not have enough energy to penetrate and break bonds. The fifth one is thermal or heat pollution. Thermal pollution is commonly caused by power plants and industrial manufacturers. Because water is used as a coolant by all these power plants and industrial manufacturers. So what happens is, water is taken from a natural source like a pond or a river. Then they either cool it down or heat it up for their machines. And once the work is done, they eject the water back to from where they got it. Whenever you change the temperature of water by boiling it or freezing it, the oxygen level in the water changes. When this new form of water is released back into the river or pond, it can be disastrous for the local marine ecosystem and the nearby communities. The last and the sixth form of pollution is e-waste. It is commonly known as electronic waste. When electronic products are of no use, many electronic devices become trash. 
All these electronic equipment contains hazardous substances such as mercury, lead, cadmium and beryllium. All these chemicals are toxic substances. They might be found in small quantity, but when added up in volume, the threat to the environment is significant. They are polluting drinking water and are harming ecosystems around the world.